What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike. Welcome back to another Tyler Perry Sisters video. Now, this is going to be the review and recap for Sisters Season 4, Episode 12, titled Goodbye at the Door. If you're a fan of Sisters, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Tyler Perry Sisters, you get them. Now, overall, this was a pretty good mid-season premiere. It wasn't my favorite episode. Not a whole lot happened, but it was still a good episode. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Not a whole lot happened until the end. You know, the ending part was like, wow. It was one of them wow moments with Hayden and Fatima and stuff. At the beginning of the episode, you know, you've seen Fatima messing Hayden's place up. She had a bat and she was pretty pissed off because she thought Hayden was still messing with Zach because Zach was in jail. And Gary was there, and that also pissed Fatima off. She wasn't happy to see Gary there. So she was just messing Hayden's place up. I mean, his place was tore up. Fatima was not playing. And when Fatima finally left, you know, Gary called Andy, and he was like, man, you better get your friend Fatima. You better make sure she's okay, because she was just at Hayden's house messing his place up. And Andy was confused as to why, you know, Gary was at Hayden's place to begin with. He said that, you know, him and Hayden hang out or whatever, but that's not the whole truth. But he wanted to come back over and she said nah because she was going to have Paris over or whatever. You know, she's just messing with them to see how he'll react to see if, you know, she really should be with this dude or not. Then we see Sabrina, you know, at the restaurant still with Bio. I think Bio is his name or whatever. The African guy. She's there dancing with them and stuff. You know, they just had dinner. She's having a good time, so is he. You know, they're both drunk and they're just dancing. You know, she said she better go. And he says, look, why don't you stay? And you know, she wants to go before she does something that she might regret. She said she can't control herself. He wants her to go to his place. And she says no, so then he says, why don't I come to your place? And she still says no. You know, she's afraid she won't be able to control herself. So she wants to end the night, but she said it's the most fun she's ever had on a date. So she must really like this dude. I don't know how I feel about him yet, but I don't know, man. It's just not working between her and Kelvin, so maybe it is a good thing. This dude could turn out to be not so good of a dude, though. I guess we just got to wait and see. It's too early to say if I trust him or not. Now, we see Fatima go to Zach's house. Zach is out of jail, and he straight up tells her exactly what's going on. You know, he gives her the papers, and she's like, man, seriously? She doesn't really believe him at first. You know, he's saying it's not his baby. Basically, Fatima's like, how do you know? You were a hoe back in the day. She said, you weren't always faithful to Karen. This actually could be your kid. And you know, Zach keeps on saying, no, that's not my kid. But honestly, how does he really know? But he's saying it's not, you know, Fatima wants to believe him and stuff. But then he finds out that Fatima just messed up Hayden's place. And Zach is like, damn, man, why you do that? These two are hilarious. They're the perfect couple, man. Honestly, they're the perfect couple on this show. Better than anybody, in my opinion. Out of all the couples, you know, they're the ones that fit the most. They're literally just made for each other because, you know, they're always honest with each other. They're always just okay with everything. They're just the perfect couple in my eyes. But Fatima had a piece of glass in her hair. And, you know, Zach is like, man, you better go get rid of that evidence. You know, she leaves or whatever. But she wasn't even mad at Zach at all. Then we see Q wake up in Maurice's house and he's in the living room, but he goes to Maurice's room. You know, he's trying to talk his way into Maurice's bed to sleep there with him. And Maurice is like, no, dude, get out of here. Go to the living room. And by the time the sun comes up, you got to go. And Q is just trying to talk his way into it. And Maurice doesn't trust him because, you know, he pulled that gun on Maurice, tried to rob him and everything. Maurice just can't trust him. I don't know if Q really likes him or not. I can't tell. It seems like he does, but I'm not sure. But, you know, Calvin is sitting there when Q wakes up. Maurice comes out and he's trying to wake him up. He starts pounding pans together and stuff. And he's like, man, get your ass up. And he made Q get out. Now we see Andy call Danny. You know, she's just waking up. Andy wants to ask Danny about something with El Fuego. I guess she found something of his online, you know, some technician thing or whatever. And Danny said, no, that's legit. I don't know why he's shaking ass, but yeah, that's legit. And basically, you know, Andy was like, you really used to like him. 
and Danny doesn't know how to feel about El Fuego. But they all want to meet up to talk about Karen because she's not okay. So they're going to have lunch at Andy's office to talk about Karen. And Danny said she'll tell Sabrina. You know, Sabrina comes over and just lets herself in. And she pretty much wanted to tell Danny, you know, about her date, that it was the best date ever. You know, that Danny was wrong, but she was also right for telling her to go out. You know, Danny said she didn't want to talk about Panty Man. Of course, she always calls him Panty Man. But yeah, Sabrina was just really happy and wanted to tell her friend about her date. They talk a little bit about Preston and Danny says, you know, he's just not right for me. We got nothing in common. But honestly, I think they are. I like those two together. I really do. And Sabrina also thinks Preston is a good man. But yeah, they're all supposed to meet up for lunch. Now we see Karen goes to the salon and Pam is there early. Just trying to be nosy, man, because she heard Zach got arrested. You know, Karen had no idea. She said, I'm sure Fatima took care of that, though. But Aaron came through and he was going to take her to the doctors. You know, Karen is still convinced that it's not his baby. But he said, look, I did the math and you can't ignore science. But Karen is not convinced. She thinks it's Zach's. But he's getting ready to take her to the doctors. You know, we see Preston go over to Zach's house to help him move in with some boxes and stuff. And we find out that, you know, Zach was hooking him up with all these girls to make Danny jealous. He really was trying to make Danny jealous. Danny is the only woman he wants. He's just using these other women. And Preston doesn't know how to feel because, you know, Danny, he feels like, you know, she's not feeling him the way he's feeling her. You know, Preston is just confused and Zach's trying to give him some advice and stuff. And then Jake walks in, you know, Preston and Jake meet and Jake and Zach are going over some stuff, some legal stuff. You know, they have a meeting or whatever, some stuff they have to get done. And then at the end of the episode, we see Fatima walking into the office. Hayden's coming up behind her and he's like, oh, since you want to be like this, I'm going to show you what the law is like. You know, everything you did with the bat and everything, I got that all on video. So this is what's going to happen. He has some officers come up behind him and he's getting ready to have Fatima arrested. And she's like, oh, this is what you're going to do, huh? She said, let me guess. You're going to do this unless I do something for you, right? And Hayden's like, nope, there's no unless. This is just what's going to happen. And he said he's getting a restraining order, too. He said Fatima's not going to be able to work at the same building as him if he gets a restraining order. So he's trying to get her fired, too. And then he gets her arrested and they escort Fatima out. And that's the end of the episode. That's the big wow moment of the episode, for real. We already knew, you know, Fatima was gonna mess up Hayden's place. We seen it on the previews and stuff, but I didn't really see this part coming. So this was the surprising part, but other than that, nothing big actually happened. It still was a good episode. I enjoyed it and I can't wait for the next one. You know, I'm a big fan of Sisters, but I hope the next episode is a little bit better. This one was still cool though. Let me know what you guys think. If you watched it, comment your thoughts down below. And what are your theories, thoughts, predictions, and everything else? What do you think is going to happen with Fatima? Do you think she'll do jail time? How do you think this is going to end with Fatima and Hayden? And what else do you think is going to happen? You know, with Gary and Andy, with Danny and Preston, with Sabrina and the new guy and Kelvin. Who do you think the baby's daddy is? Do you think it's Aaron or Zach? Comment down below and let me know all your thoughts. And I'll be back next week for the recap on the next episode. Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all Tyler Perry's sister's content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.